If you have received an offer to study medicine or dentistry this year, firstly, congratulations. This is an amazing achievement and you should feel really proud of yourself. As you wait for your first year to start in September, you might be wondering what to do with your time and how you can prepare before your course starts. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about the five things that I wish I knew before starting medical school so that you can be prepared and hit the ground running before starting your course in the autumn. So let's get started. Tip number one is to take a break. As you probably know by now, the application to medical or dental school is ruthless. And if you want some more detail about the application cycle, then you can check out this video where I talk about it from start to finish. The entire process is packed with exams and interviews. So when it is all over, you should really take a break. It is really important that you feel relaxed and energized before starting your course. So make sure that you have a good amount of time where you are really relaxing and refreshing as much as possible. Spend time with your friends and with your family, go and take a walk in the sun. I don't know, spend some time doing hobbies and things that you enjoy. Do whatever you need to do so that you are fully refreshed before the start of the course in September. Remember that you will spend the next five to six years at medical school studying really hard and you might not get this amount of time off again. So make sure that you really make the most of it. And if you are going to apply to medical or dental school this year, then check out this video here where we go through the application cycle in full so that you can stay on top of things. Tip number two is to get a summer job. Funding medical school is hard. And as a student, you might not have a lot of time to have a part-time job on the side or to have income while you study. Applying for a bursary isn't always an option as well. So if you are free over the summer, make sure that you make the most out of that time and get a job while you can. This will allow you to save up some money so that you start medical school with some funds which can contribute towards your living expenses while at university. This is especially true if you are moving out and you might have to think about housing and rent and funding all of that. And of course, getting a job will help you to gain independence and will teach you really valuable skills that will come in handy later on. Tip number three is learn to cook. Cooking is such an important life skill. And as I mentioned earlier, Money will be a big factor to think about while you're at university. So if you learn to cook, batch making foods that are healthy and nutritious and that will save you time will be incredibly useful and will also save you money. Not only will it help you to maintain a healthy diet while you're at university, which is incredibly important, but it will also be more cost effective. If you batch make food, you won't have to cook every single day. You can just reheat it as and when you need. This will save you loads of time and you also won't be spending unnecessary money on food. Also, if you are living with other housemates, you could even take it in turns to cook, which would be a win-win for everyone. Tip number four is to check all of your emails and paperwork. Your university might send you different emails and paperwork for you to read. Make sure that you go through them in detail as they may contain a lot of important information about your arrival and your accommodation. All of this preparation will help you to feel more organized and prepared when you start in September. If possible, consider downloading a map of the local area so that you know how to get around and you feel more comfortable when you arrive. And if you have already got your hands on the course handbook, make sure to give it a read beforehand so that you can spend the first few weeks asking questions and sorting things out before the course formally begins. If you have any specific tasks or things to complete before your arrival, your university may send this information to you via email. So make sure that you keep an eye on those. Tip number five is do not buy textbooks. You may think that medical or dental schools have some kind of book list that you absolutely need to get before you start. But the truth is that buying and reading all of the textbooks is not a requirement by medical or dental schools. However, if something is absolutely required, then this will be made known to you by your professors or your lecturers when you start the course. Besides, most of these textbooks can be found online or at the university's library. So you don't need to spend hundreds of pounds buying books that you don't need. Of course, there are some textbooks which will be really helpful, but you can use these to supplement your learning instead of them being a hard requirement. 
what's more in this day and age with all of the websites and videos that are available your learning does not have to be limited to a single textbook so those were the top five things that i wish that i knew before starting medical school but one final tip from me would be to improve your communication skills. This is one of the most important skills that you can learn to do, regardless of the industry that you are in. But it is especially true if you're going into medicine or dentistry, because you'll be communicating with so many different types of people, with patients and with colleagues. So it is absolutely crucial that you learn to communicate in a clear and a concise manner. Some of the ways that you could develop these communication skills would be to join a debating society or a public speaking club, or you could even mentor other students throughout the application process to medical or dental school, just like you did. If you are going to be mentoring anybody throughout the process, then you might want to send them this playlist where we share all of the resources that you need in order to be successful with your application. Otherwise, I wish you the very best of luck with the start of your term and I hope that you go on to smash medical or dental school. And if you did not get an offer for university this year, then you might want to check out FutureDoc's one-to-one -one coaching program where tutors will dissect your entire application so that you know what to do differently next time. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave any comments or questions below and I will see you next time.